You're drinking that so slow. On Thursday, sir, the time is short. My father cabinet will have it so, and I'm nothing slow and slack to his haste. You say you do not know the lady's mind? Uneven is the course, I like it not. Immoderately she weeps for Tybalt's death, and therefore I have little talked of love. For Venus smiles not in a house of tears. Now, sir, her father counts it dangerous that she doth give us all so much sway, and in his wisdom hastes to our marriage, to stop the inundation of her tears, which, too much minded by herself alone, may be put from her by society. Now, do you know the reason for this haste? I would, I knew not, why it should be slowed. Look, sir, here comes the lady towards my cell. Happily met, my lady and my wife. That may be, sir, when I may be a wife. That may be, must be, my love, on Thursday next. What must be, shall be. That's a certain text. Come, you, to make a confession to this father? To answer that, I shall confess to you. Do not deny that you love me. I will confess to you that I love him. So will ye, I am sure, that you love me. If I do so, if I do so, it will be of more price. Being spilt behind your back and then to your face. Poor soul, thy face is much abused with tears. The tears have got small victory by that. For it was bad enough before their spite. Thou wrongst it. More than tears with that report. That is most slander, sir, which is the truth. And when I speak, I speak it to my face. Thy face is mine, and thou hast slandered it. It may be so, for it is not thine, my own. And are you at leisure? Father now, who shall I come to you at evening mass? My liege serves me, pensive daughter, now. My lord, we must entreat the time alone. God shield I should disturb devotion. Juliet, on Thursday early I will rouse thee. Till then, adieu, and keep this holy kiss.
When present thee, thou all thy veins shall run a cold, drowsy humor, for no pulse shall keep his native progress, and secrease, no warmth, no breath, shall testify thou livest. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade to a paley ashes, thy eyes windows fall like death, when he shuts up the day of life, each part deprived of supple government, shall stiff and stark and cold appear like death. And then this borrowed likeness of shrunk death shall continue two and forty hours, and then awake as from some pleasant sleep. Now, when the bridegroom in the morning comes to rouse thee from thy bed, there art thou dead, then, as the manner of our county, country is, in thy best robes are covered on the bier, sh thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred capulets lie. In the meantime, against thou shalt awake, shall Romeo, by my letters, known of our drift, and hither shall he come, and he and I will watch thy waking that very night. Shall Romeo bear thee hence to Mantua, and this shall free thee from this present shame. If no inconsistent toy, nor womanish fear, abate thy valor in acting. Give me, give me, give me, oh! Tell me not to fear! Hold! Get you gone, be strength and prosperous in this resolve. I'll send a friar with speed to Mantua with my letters to thy lord. <laughs>